Conditional Probability by Justin de Souza. The learning objective of this lesson is to recognize and explain the concept of conditional probability and independence in everyday situations. The key word is conditional probability. Now, you might have heard conditional probability before as well, but what exactly does it mean? What does it imply? What's the condition here? This is a very interesting concept because you know probability, we find the chance. But what if something has already happened and then you are trying to predict the chances of the remaining outcomes? This is where conditional probability helps out. Now here there's a formula given, conditional probability of B. Given A in the sense, A has already happened. We are finding the probability of B. This is given by probability of A and B, that is A intersection B by probability of A divided by, sorry. A can never be zero. So because, you know, we are telling this has already happened. If it has already happened, how can it be zero? Doesn't make sense, right? And you can't have denominated as zero, but think it, uh, if you take it logically, we are understand we are considering this probability based on the context that probability has happened already it's given that this has happened so it can never ever be zero in the denominator because this has already occurred there is a small little probability at least now here we have an interesting uh, question let's do this first suppose two dice are rolled and it is known that one dice shows a five what is the probability that the sum of the number rolled is seven here, because one event, rolling a phi, is already occurred, the sample space of other event is reduced, it changes. So let's see how exactly we can solve this now. First, let's see uh, how many possibilities can occur with one die as phi. We know that two dies are being rolled. So there is phi and one phi. See, first of all, a die is having six, right? Six possibilities. So there is phi six times that can occur with one, with two, with three, with four, with five and with six. Now you must take the other way around. Five we are considering first is done. Now let's consider this over here to be five. Okay. This is five. Now how many possibilities? It can be one, two, three, four. Can it be five and five? It's already done here, right? So six. So how many possibilities is one, two, three, four, five, six? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are total 11 possibilities where phi can occur. Now, what are the conditions? That it is showing a phi, right? Probability of A, the condition that is, that it, the die shows a phi is 11 out of what are the total possibilities when you roll two dice? Two dice sample space will be 6 times 6, that is 36, right? So 11 by 36. This is the probability of A. Now, what is the probability that A and B occurs? That is, you get a phi and the sum must be 7. So, if you have already one phi here and one phi here, first phi can happen, second phi can happen, right? Phi and phi. What is the other number to make it 7? It must be 2 here or 2 here. There is only two possibilities. It should either fall as phi and 2 or 2 and phi. Otherwise, this can't happen, right? So what is that probability? Probability of A and B is 2 by 36. So now you just write it in the formula. Probability of B condition A, that means A has happened, is basically 2 by 36 divided by 11 by 36. See, this denominator, denominator cancels out. You can just write it as 2 by 11. So that is the probability. If we use our traditional methods, it would take a long, long time. But this conditional probability makes it easy for us to use the formula and solve it up. You can see this is the formula. And now you can see over here, if you do it otherwise, it's going to take a long time. Like say all the possibilities of ruling a, a all the possibilities of ruling 7 and then all these. So it would take a long time, right? Now we directly got 2 by 11, right? So that is much easier if you do it with the formula. Let's look into an example problem. There are currently 16 customers in line at a del deli counter. Each 
holding a number ticket from 179 to 194. Naveen will help customers holding tickets with even numbers and Ellie will help customers holding tickets with odd numbers. If a customer is helped by Naveen, what is the probability that the customer is holding the ticket 180? Now, before we continue solving this, it is very important to know which is the condition, right? Here, let's read the last part. If a customer is held by Naveen, what is the probability that the customer is holding a ticket, uh, ticket 190? Now, what is the probability? This is a very important sentence. Wherever, even in the next problem, you'll come to know what is the probability. Look for this sentence. Whatever you see after that will not be the condition. This is what you have to find. You can see here, right? What is the probability? that the customer is holding ticket 190 that is not the condition that is what is going to happen that is probability b but we don't write b right but that is the b condition okay second condition but it's not a condition sorry that is what we have to solve but what has already happened this has already happened if the customer is held by Naveen, this is the first condition whichever is having probability that statement is not condition A, the other one will be the condition A. Because you will have only two statements, right? One will be the given condition, one more will be the B second. So here, since they're asking us to find the probability or that the customer is holding ticket B, the ticket 190, that will be A intersection B, that will be both together. But the other statement, if a customer is held by Naveen, will be A. This is customer held by Naveen. Okay, that's the condition held by Naveen. And now we will write the possibility. What is the, wait, before that, let me just even write A intersection B because these are the two things which you require. What is A intersection B? That is, the customer must be held by Naveen and the customer is holding 190. So, customer held by Naveen and he must uh, ticket 190. He must have ticket uh, 190. So these are the conditions. Now let's find the probability of each of them because then it is this divided by this. The formula also I'll write probability B condition A will be probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. Now let's first find the for, uh, condition probability if a customer is held by Naveen. It has been told Naveen will help the customers holding tickets with even numbers. And how many uh, tickets are there? There are 16 from 179 to 194. So even numbers will be half of this. There must be only 8, right? So the probability of A would be 8 by 16. And what is A intersection B? It is, it must be an even number and it must be 190. So it's only one possibility, right? Out of all the 16 tickets, the both the conditions will be satisfied by only 1 by 16. So the probability of A intersection B would be basically 1 by 16 divided by 8 by 16. The 16 and 16 cancels. It is 1 eighth probability. So that is the answer. Understanding, see, writing this probability formula, everything is very easy, but understanding the conditions is very crucial. So the answer will be 1 by 8 probability. So here you can see this is the probability of A, and that is 8 by 16 is half. You can write it, I directly solve it because you can cancel the numerate, denominators, right? So when you use it with the intersection A, so finally this will be the answer. I hope this is clear. So whichever method you do the final answer, let's just check. Yes, 1 by 8. It's correct. So that's how we solve it. Now we will go to a check problem. But just before we move on to the check problem, a quick reminder and a request to all of you. Please do consider subscribing to my channel. The reason I say is, uh, these are the recent stats. You can see 89% of my viewers are not subscribed. 11% are subscribed. I'm so happy and I'm very grateful for all those who are subscribed. If you're already subscribed, please do like my videos and share it with your friends, which will help me a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Now we will look into the check problem. 
a high school has a total of 1700 students with 450 seniors of the 1700 students 1550 are taking 1550 are taking a math class 280 of which are seniors if a student is chosen at random what is the probability that he or she is taking a math class given that the student is a senior write your answer as a fraction or as a percent expressed to the nearest tenth now here before everything all this doesn't matter if you don't find the condition it's no use so let's see what is the condition first here if a student is chosen at random what is the probability that he or she is taking a math class this will be something with and okay it will be intersection with some other probability what is the condition given here it's easy because they have already told given that the student is senior this is p of a this other two statements together will be p of a intersection b so we know p condition a given b given a is p of a intersection b that that means and and p of a here probability of a is a student is a senior what is the probability that student is a senior it is 450 out of 1700 right because there are total 1700 students 1700 students and 450 seniors that's the probability now what is the probability that a student is taking a math class given that he or she is a senior so of the 1700 1550 are taking a math class and how many are basically uh, seniors in that 280 280 seniors out of total number of students is 1700 you can avoid these writing because it's going to be same so you can just avoid them but anyways it's 280 if you just cancel it off or if you take the division uh, multiplication this will become inverse 1700 goes up and this will be in denominator and cancel it anyways so this will be 450 and that's the probability you can just put in the calculator and solve it 28 and 45 um, so you just put in the calculator you'll get the answer for that let's see over here it is 450 280 and yes it'll be 0 0.62 if you solve it up that'll be 62 percent that's the probability that's the conditional probability they have asked you to the nearest tenth okay in percent so please don't consider this answer let's take our calculators here when we solve it we will get 62.222 so the final answer nearest tenth uh, considering it nearest ten, will be basically 62.2 percent this is the actual answer that is how we can easily solve the conditional probabilities and that is the end of this lesson i hope you have found this helpful please do share my videos with your friends who can benefit as well and until the next video take care guys and wish you all happy learning.